For today's tapping, we are going to be clearing some abundance or money blocks that you might be experiencing as a result of past lives. Now, very often this can come up when there's something that you can't quite shift. So maybe you have an unpleasant emotional reaction to money, but you just can't seem to make any sense of it whatsoever. Or maybe you just know that there's something there within you and you just can't seem to shift it. Or perhaps you've had some awareness around past lives and you know that there was some kind of money trauma or difficulty when it comes to finances in past lives. So this tapping will hopefully help you to finally let go of some of that stuff. So we're not going to do a check in today. We're going to go straight in to the tapping. But as usual, we're just going to do a lovely deep breath together. So a nice, deep, calming breath, breathing in through the nose. And just hold that for a moment and then just let go. Just coming into this lovely calm space. Okay, so tapping on the karate chop point. You can repeat after me either out loud or if that feels a bit weird, you can just say it in your mind if you want to. Just copy what I do and what I say. But feel free to shift any words or sentences that don't feel quite right and use your own. No offence will be taken, it's best to be as specific as possible when you're tapping. So even though I feel this weight or sadness in my heart, in my soul, in my psyche, about a past life event around money, or perhaps even self-worth, I acknowledge this weight today. I acknowledge that there's something there. Even though I feel this sadness or pain about a past life, and that's affecting my abundance and prosperity in the now, I listen to my soul, I listen to these whispers and I accept how I'm feeling. Even though it feels like my soul carries this heaviness, this pain or this trauma from past lives, I choose to deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself. And perhaps there's people that I want to love, honour and accept as well. Just being open to that. Okay, up to the eyebrow point. All this pain and sadness around money. Side of the eye. There's something there. I don't know quite what it is, but I can feel it. under the eye. There's a sense that there's something there blocking my prosperity. Under the nose. It feels quite heavy and I don't want to carry it around anymore. Chin point. I don't know all the details. I don't need to know all the details. I can just feel that there's something there. Collarbone point. So today I'm just giving myself that space to explore this. Under the arm. I'm open and I'm listening. Top of the head. Just acknowledging what could be going on here. Just being open to this. Eyebrow point. All these abundance blocks from past lives. All these money blocks from past lives. Side of the eye. Some of this stuff is bound to have imprinted on me, on my soul. 
under the eye. There are those whispers from the past that run through my veins. Under the nose. And perhaps when I'm around money, there's this soul recognition. Chin point. There's this emotional reaction that I can't quite put my finger on. Collarbone point. Why is it so hard to clear all these things, all these blocks and beliefs around money? Feels so overwhelming at times. Under the arm. Why am I such a sensitive soul that I feel all these things? Top of the head. Just when I feel like I'm moving forward with money stuff, something else comes up. And I end up going two steps back. Okay, so just tapping on the collarbone point for me, um, just closing your eyes if you feel safe and comfortable to do so, and just listening to what I say. Um, you don't need to say anything out loud here, just tapping gently on your collarbone point with your eyes closed. And just thinking back really how hard things used to be, probably for the majority of the population, hundreds of years ago, even thousands of years ago. Many people experiencing extreme poverty, extreme lack in their lives. Thinking perhaps about the patriarchy and how women were so dependent on men for survival. Because money, in whatever form that is, means safety, shelter, food. And a lot of the time, women were very dependent on men. And creative and sensitive women <laughs> were called witches. All these past life experiences that we may have had, that our soul might have experienced. And we can still feel those whispers sometimes within us. And just be present to whatever is coming up here. Try not to let those feelings swamp you, more just let yourself grow around those feelings. So almost just imagining your energy going outwards. So the feeling's still there, but your energy is bigger, stronger. And we're just going to be with any feelings that come up, breathing deeply, just letting these whispers be heard. And then just thinking about money, how we used to have money in the form of just, you know, basic coins made out of gold or silver. And people had to find that. They had to find gold and silver in the ground or wherever, chipping away. Lots of false hope. Lots of scarcity. Am I going to find one today? Am I going to find a piece of gold? Am I going to find a piece of silver? And all that disappointment and that envy. Perhaps if someone else found some, that feeling that there was not enough in the ground, it's going to run out at some point. All that lack and scarcity that people felt. And that can just get passed on through generations. And past lives. So just tuning into where you might be feeling that in your body. Reminding yourself that you're safe. Just letting yourself grow around those feelings, letting your energy come out of your body so that you, your you-ness is bigger than that. And you can absorb these feelings and let them go. Just sending love 
to that part of you. Maybe compassion is needed here. No judgment, just lots of compassion for how hard things have been. All those little genes within you. Your soul. Past lives, generational trauma. Just acknowledging that. Nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, opening your eyes. And we're going to do two more rounds of tapping. Okay, up to the eyebrow point. I choose to heal my soul and make peace with the past. I choose to heal my soul and make peace with the past. Side of the eye, I give myself permission to let some of this pain go. I give myself permission to let some of this pain go. Under the eye. The world is different now. Money is abundant. Money can be printed, made. Under the nose. I know this has been hard, but I can let this go. Chin point. I don't need to hold on to this pain from past lives anymore. I can release these blocks. I can dissolve these old beliefs. Collarbone point. It's safe for me to release this sadness and pain from my soul. It's safe for me to release this sadness and pain from my soul. Deep breath. Under the arm. And the amazing thing is that this stops with me. This stops with me. Top of the head so that I can be free from this. And that freedom can spread to others. Friends, family, connections. And my future soul incarnations can be free from this as well. Eyebrow point. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to hear the whispers. Side of the eye. This opportunity to go within and clear some of this stuff from my body, my mind, my soul, my psyche. Under the eye, clearing this old energy. Deep breath. Clearing this old energy that isn't serving me anymore. It no longer serves me. Under the nose. Reminding myself as well that sensitivity is my superpower. I'm so glad that I can tune into this so that I can release it. So grateful for those whispers for those niggles, for those feelings, for those senses. Chin point. I can heal this in this life. It stops with me. And I love being me. My sensitive woo-woo self. I love her. Collarbone point. I feel lighter and brighter. Within, just feeling that lightness, letting those blocks go, clearing them, clearing them through time, space, letting them go. Under the arm, releasing those parts of myself and yet still feeling centered, calm and grounded. Releasing some of that old rubbish, <laughs> some of that old negative energy. I don't need to hold on to it anymore. And I feel calm, centred and grounded. Top of the head. Clearing those blocks. Letting them go. Cleansing my energy. 
feeling lightness, feeling freedom. Okay, just stop tapping there. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, sigh it out if you can. And again, in through the nose, out through the mouth, sighing. That's amazing. Now, sighing is actually really powerful. It's a great way to just release. It's really good for your nervous system to have that sense of relief and sighing is really good for that. So let me know how you found that tapping. It might be that you, over the next sort of 24 hours, 48 hours or so that you get kind of feelings come up or even memories come up around stuff that may have been blocking you in the past. Just remember that you are safe. You can just do some tapping on your collarbone point if that happens. Remember to keep a journal as well. That can be really useful for writing down how you feel. And like I said, if you need to do some safety tapping, just tap on your collarbone point with your eyes open until you start to feel calm. So thank you for tapping with me today and I'll see you back here next week for another new tap along video.